Good evening, I'm Elena Weisel, AACI's Director of Development, and I'm pleased to welcome you to a special concert as part of the Jenny and Max Weil music program. Jenny and Max were admired and appreciated as great leaders and friends of AACI. We are honored that their children, Judy Amzell and Daniel Weil, chose to dedicate the music program for their parents. Tonight's concert, featuring Diana Lupo on violin and Rivka Arkiyamar on harp, honors both Jenny and Max and commemorates Max's second Yortzeit. May their memories be a blessing. Good evening and welcome. My name is Diana Lupo and I made Aliyah in 2007. I became a member of AACI and my adjustment to Israel was much easier thanks to some wonderful AACI volunteers. I am a professional violinist. I play in the Jerusalem Symphony Orchestra and teach at the Conservatory of the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance. Throughout the years I have played for various AACI events so when Elena approached me with the idea of playing a concert for the new Jenny and Max Weil music series, I was very excited. I immediately thought of asking my colleague, Rivka Hamad, to join me on the harp. Rivka also often performs with the Jerusalem Symphony and teaches in the Avivim Conservatory. Rivka and I have performed together all over Israel and even had an online concert for an audience in a community in the United States. For today's concert, we decided to choose shorter pieces which will translate well online. And for the recording, we tried to preserve the feeling of a concert recording each piece as a whole. We tried to balance arrangements with pieces originally written for our instruments, and you will be hearing violin and harp separately, as well as both of us together. We began the concert with Sensances de Swan, one of Wild family's favorite pieces. I know that Max and Jenny's presence is very much missed by the Weil family and the extended AACI family, so this next piece reflects the sense of loss. 
It is my arrangement of the overture of Zakaria Palashvili's opera Sunset. Palashvili was a Georgian composer and ethnomusicologist, and his music contains many folk songs of the tiny nation in the Caucasus Mountains. Next is another piece of music about swans. This time, the composer is Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky, and we will perform two selections from his ballet, The Swan Lake. Tchaikovsky was fond of the harp and the violin, and even though the ballet is played by a full orchestra, he features the two instruments very prominently. So when I made the arrangement for violin and harp, it was not difficult to preserve his original intentions. Thank you. 
Johann Sebastian Bach composed this gavotte as part of a larger work for solo violin. The gavotte is in the form of a rondo, which means that we hear the theme two times, then we go on a little adventure, then we come back to hear the theme again, and then another episode, and we continue like that for several cycles. If you want to challenge yourself, you can count how many times I play the theme and how many adventures we go on. I will tell you the number of themes and episodes after the gavotte. Or if you want, you can just sit back and enjoy. If you counted six themes and four episodes, you are right. Bach's air is also an arrangement of a movement from his orchestral suite. The harp fills the role of the orchestra very naturally, and since I'm only one violin instead of a whole violin section, I can take this opportunity to improvise a little on Bach's melody, something musicians of Bach's time would have definitely done.
Jacques Hibert was a French composer of the early 20th century, but he wrote this entr'acte as part of incidental music for a play by a Spanish author. The entr'acte has a strong Spanish flavor, and it's one of the most exciting pieces we know of for violin and harp. Thank you. 
I met Alia in 1992. When I studied at Jerusalem Academy of Music, I had a dream to play the Moldo by Smetana. While the Moldo is a poem symphonic for orchestra, I discovered a wonderful arrangement for harp. You will certainly recognize the Hatikva, the Israeli anthem, while the Hatikva dates from 1878. The history of this melody goes much further back. It comes from the old Sephardic Jewish prayer, Birkat Hatal, and the melody moved all around Europe until it finally made its way to Eastern Europe, when, where Smetana heard it and used it into his Moldo. Jewish music are very lucky because we have a treasure trove of Jewish songs to choose from. 
Yiddish songs, Ladino, classic Israeli songs, and many fine contemporary singers. Rivka and I had a hard time choosing. We know that the Weil family has a special connection to Rav Shlomo Karlebach, and we are fans of his music as well. So we prepared a few of his songs for you. Thank you. 
Jerusalem is my home, my parents' home, my family's home, and my people's home. Jerusalem is the eternal capital of Israel. When we lived in France, my mother told me that during the Six Day War, friends prayed for Israel and a miracle really happened and Israel won the war. We pray and pray that Jerusalem will always unite our hearts. Imeshkachech Yerushalayim, Tishkach Yemini.
We would like to end this concert by wishing you a sweet and wonderful new year, and we hope to see you live at one of our concerts in the future. May this year be a year of peace, a year of health, a year of abundance, and a year of success. Amen. Amen.